After networks, and I know electronics is the most important subject. So you have to have a basic understanding on the functioning of MOSFET and other its regions of operation. And look into the single state amplifiers, common source, common gate, common drain amplifiers, and their gain and the input output impedance for various roads. Also look into differential amplifier. This is important as uh, you get questions in online tests and uh, interviews. And uh, focus on analysis using small signal circuit equivalent of all the basic amplifiers. So small signal analysis is very important. And next uh, look into Miller's theorem also. Also sometimes uh, there are questions on feedbacks amplifiers. So look into the positive feedback and different type of feedbacks. You have a shunt series, positive, negative and all the different kinds of feedback. Next, uh, oscillators are important. Focus on the Barkasen criteria. Next, uh, in the operational amplifiers, you have to focus on all concepts, including from virtual ground to the concept in high pass and low, for, low pass filters. Filters is very important here in, in analog electronics. And uh, you have to look into how to write the transfer function of form open based configuration, uh, like for the given input, what would be the out output. And this also includes passive networks around the amp op amps. So analog electronics, I suggest to start after network analysis, as uh, this will help uh, you in easier analysis of circuits. Most of the students feel EDC is a prerequisite for analog electronics, but it is not. You can start it after immediately completing network analysis. So coming to the resources for uh, analog electronics, I have again followed uh, Analog Electronic Crash Code by Kamesh sir in the Creatrix channel. This is a very useful playlist and it has helped me a lot. And uh, if you have time, you can look, refer to the book by Cedra and Smith on Microelectronics and uh, Bezad Razavi, Design of Analog Themas Integrated Circuits. Why I'm referring to Crash Course because I had very less time. If you need, I'll make a video on my preparation strategy and exactly how I prepared during my preparation time. I had around three months of time and I had to start start from scratch. So I didn't have much time to cover all the topics. So I focused on crash courses for all the subjects. So let me know if you want to know the strategy which I followed.